Hi guys, my name is Josh and you're watching The Fine Luxury. Let me show you something. This is a 458 Italia Pinifarina made by Ferrari. Started creating these cars in 2009 until 2015. You see how modern it looks? This is 2022. I'm going to tell you why this car is a classic and a little bit of squeaks and features about this car shortly. Keep watching. So this video has been made possible by Nova Luxury Cars. They are located here on Sheikh Zayed Road, Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. You guys should contact them. They have the best deals on brand new and used luxury cars. Also, they offer modification services for you guys. Hit them up. You can find their link in the description below. Look at the size of this car and look at how low it is. You see the falling hood design of this car and you see how it just elopes at the top and then falls gradually towards the end. This helps with the aerodynamics of this vehicle. You can see how low it is, firm and stable it is on the floor. It creates a whole lot of statements. This vehicle is modern and traditional, maintaining the same Ferrari culture at the same time. The first thing you notice about the exterior of this car are these massive headlights. On the headlights, you notice the major big bulb there and underneath here you have about a whole different tiny little bulbs which helps with the other functions like the indicators of the car. You also have an indicator down here, which has your Ferrari logo here. If you notice the hood of this car, it has a depression at the middle. That is help. That helps with the aerodynamics of this car. And you can see some diffusers, some air diffusers down here. The bumper goes all the way down. And down here, you also have your Ferrari logo there. It's actually a 2015 458 Italia. The first mid V8 engine without a manual gearbox. It's actually a big leap from the F430 we preceded it based on the design and the new modernity they added into it. This is actually called the Pini Farina. The Pini Farina is actually a car design house in Italy. It hosted the first Ferrari 212 Intercoupe and Cabriolet. The design and the emotional sense of this car is actually a big deal for Ferrari. And if you check the design of this car, it's actually a timeless beauty. The car is actually practical economical and more affordable than the previous versions but it is actually a collectible the car can actually come in a convertible versions but those convertible versions will not give you the ceramic glass on the engine you have to be a closed engine these are some super beautiful sports seats come take a look they look extremely comfortable and if you see it's such a comfortable sports seat for such a fast sports car look at the ferrari logo here on it yeah, easy. It has a red seat belt there, which holds it firmly, especially when you're moving at a very, very aggressive speed. It has your Ferrari written boldly here underneath. You have your speakers, your door bins, very elastic. These are all leather. Everything here is leather, except these carbon fiber details on the dashboard and the pedal shift. You have carbon fiber on the steering and leather. It has your indicators directly on the steering. You can see. A whole lot of buttons here, even the engine starts buttons are on the steering. The interior has an input from Michael Schumacher into it. It is actually the first mid V8 engine to be offered without a manual gearbox option. Notice the tires of this car, you see how tiny it is? And you see how big the 20 inch rims are? And you see how massive the front brake pads are? This helps with the friction and the aggressiveness into the driving experience of this vehicle. You see how massive those are? The 458 tires are actually 20 inches rims wide. The front tires are actually about 235, while the back tires are about 295. Why the front tires are smaller than the back tires are because of the wider tires, the less dramatic the feel of the driving experience is. But you get the point. Check out the round design of these brake lights. Look at the nets on the back of this car. And there's also a net here which helps with ventilation to let the heat escape from the heat of the engine. It has the sensors, three exhausts, has your carbon fiber spoilers down there, your, a little bit of brake lights design down there too. And you can see the Ferrari logos here. Here is written and here you actually have the horse design here. Another brake light here and on the, if you look there you see a ceramic glass cover that covers the engine of this car. This is actually a 4.5 liter V8 gasoline engine. The top speed is actually 320 kilometers per hour. 562 horsepower, 540 newton meters of torque. And it can go zero to 100 in 3.4 seconds. It's fast. And this concludes our brief review for the Ferrari 458 Italia Pininfarina. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. It really helps our channel grow. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.